Okay, just let me find Bali's uh, entry for his biography. Bali. Here we go. Um, Bali is a mage, is his class. His alignment or element is light. His starting level is 5. Uh, he's 62 years old, male, human, and was born in Trevnoa. He's a contemporary of King Lennox and um, always strives to guide Sanit. Um, he's slightly older now and has mellowed out somewhat, but um, he still experienced a lot of like training and battle in his lifetime, uh, which is why he's such a tank, I see. <laughs> um, I've actually never played the um, the English version of Dragon Force One, the working designs localization. Uh, I had the Japanese version growing up, so um, but I'm familiar with the translation, so I know that a lot of names have changed. Um, like uh, Tiris, who's the queen of uh, Moon Palace, which I think isn't even called Moon Palace in the uh, working designs translation. I think it's Pale Moon, I think is what they called it. Um, her the romanization of her name, uh, certainly in the strategy guide for this sequel, and I think even in the original was Tillis, uh, T I L L I C E. But actually, Tiris is a much nicer name anyway, so I don't really mind. And uh, Reinhardt's name, in fact, isn't Reinhardt; it's Reynard, um, Renato. But Reinhardt's a cooler name, so I go with that as well. So <laughs> I'm, um, I'm not that choosy <laughs> about the translation. Um, but yeah, since I never played it in English, uh, I only know the story in Japanese. So, um, and because a lot of the character names have changed, like, uh, what is it? Gideon and Grace, uh, two of the main antagonists in the first game. Um, I think they're called Ghoul and Scythe? I think in the translation, which is completely different. Perhaps it's because I'm not sure Gideon, I think, might be too biblical or something. I'm not sure the reason why they changed it. But um, so sometimes if I'm reading about things like this and uh, Gaul comes up, I'll be like, who's that? But it refers to Gideon. And so it takes them getting used to, but otherwise it's the same game. So uh, an interesting thing about this uh, Dragon Force 2 is that a lot of the names. Um, like all the kingdoms seem to be based upon um, sort of nationalities. Um, it's kind of obvious in the first game, like Mikazuki is, uh, Izumo is obviously Japan with Ashigaru um, and Samurai. Um, but uh, it's a little bit more obvious in this game. I think Tradno is supposed to be European, um, perhaps even English. Um, Izumo is still Japanese. Uh, I think. Tristan is supposed to be sort of German, maybe? Um, and things like that are quite interesting. Tapaz is kind of um, Asiatic, maybe Chinese, um, which is noticeable in that they all use Kung Fu. Uh, but it, it's more obvious in this game, so it's quite interesting. Okay, so I'm abusing uh, Sanit's water ball and her quick charge magic one more time. Sanith becomes definitely one of the most powerful generals later on in the game, um, thanks to her very high magic. So we defeated him and we found a magic crystal. And we can continue searching into the cave, but I've decided to leave. So with those battles over, Sanith levels up, uh, twice. And she's learnt a new spell, which is healing. Um, and she actually leveled up again. So Sanith leveled up three times, which puts her at level six. And she has spell healing, which costs two MP and works on yourself, uh, the same way that uh, Barley's spell works. 
So I'm gonna head back to Grey Castle to reconscript, is that a word? Um, the Zeldokian Empire, the level 20 troops are still here um, for this turn, which means we can't really leave our territory. Um, so here I will go to, oh, we can look at flat, we can go to conscript, yeah. I think it's cons conscription, conscript. Um, like refilling your troops, basically. Um, but you can only refill a certain number of troops um, before you have to wait for time to pass for the number of available troops to refill in your in your castle, which is why I didn't refill everyone's troops. So if we look around, Tradnoa is protected by this mountain range. Um, you can see the grey flags indicate a uh, indicate some kind of alliance army that's not one of the main monarchies in the game. Uh, purple is the Izumo uh, kingdom, and you can see that their castles even look different. Um, so Kaede I think is here, yeah, Kaede is the uh, main monarch and her element is fire. Um, then if you cross over to this side there's the Bozak nation. Um, so Ganges is down here. And they have the majority of their troops in this castle. Um, Fiorino? F oh, sorry, Fiorina. Fiorina? Yeah, Fiorina, that troop just now. She's kind of... I have the soundtrack to this game, and there's a lot of art dedicated to her, so I don't know. It's, she's kind of um, fairly favoured for some reason. And then going up here, I don't think I have time to go. Oh, okay, that would be Fandaria. Now, Bali meets someone. Um, Hannah. So Bali recruits a new unit. Um, and Agnes tries to recruit Yuan, but she gets rejected. <laughs> uh, Hannah, the unit that they re recruited just now, is one of my least favorite units, so please don't expect me to use her anytime soon. <laughs> カトマンドまあ、お話もできるのカトマンドカトマンドあなたカトマンドっていうのねそうだカトマンドさん、こんにちはさ、に、す私の名前を呼んでくれたわさささささささ発生部分が完全ではないようですなわわたしのあひどくなっちゃった ね、苦しいの、カトマンドゥ。私の肩に乗れ。え、肩に乗れって言ったの？乗れ。本当にいいの？楽しそう。さ、サニス様。すっごい王様になった気分。あ、そういえば私は王様代理でしたっけでもねカトマンドゥあなたやっぱり無理しちゃダメよ完全に治ってないんだからちょこれでもサニスのために頑張って治したのになぁサニス様とお呼びなさい残念ながら我が国の技術
あの国の王は大陸制覇を目論んでいるとの噂もありあれサニス様サニス様もう行っちゃったよああ胃の痛い日々はまだまだ当分続きそうですね Okay, in that portion of the story, we find out that the robot is named Kathmandu. And with the repairs that they're able to do, he's able to speak again, but isn't completely fixed.、Um, so they intend to take, Sanath intends to take him to Tristan, the neighboring country, where they're more technologically advanced. So the two things that we have here we have two、um, medals of valor, which are rewards for winning in a battle, which improve the number of troops you have. And then we also have a new kind of medal, which I'll go back and show you,、um, which is used for adding a new type. So, this is a scroll, and this is a horseman or a knight scroll. So, I'm using that scroll on Sanith, which means that she can now use knights.、Um, as you can see here, she has mage, sorry, horsemen, mages, monks, and horsemen available to her. And then, since Platt also fought, I want to give him a medal. To improve his loyalty, so he can now use、uh, 20 horsemen. Okay, I didn't find any equipment or accessories, so I don't need to look at that, and I still don't have any prisoners of war.、Uh, the little orange faces, this is Hannah, by the way.、Uh, she's、um, one of the mechanical soldiers. The little faces next to their level,、um, everyone looks pretty happy here. Um, is how satisfied they are with you as a monarch.、Um, and if you'll see, often when you capture new prisoners of war,、um, they'll look really grumpy,、um, which means they really aren't loyal to you at all. And you need to grant them medals,、uh, give them items, basically be nice to them, and they'll、uh, like you more.、Uh, I can look at the materials I picked up. I have a, a crystal of power, some iron ore. And、um, a magic crystal.、Um, these are things that we picked up、um, from fighting battles, which we can later use.、Um, before I actually combine anything, I'll make sure I look up the recipe.、Uh, recipe is probably not the right word,、um, but the best combinations to make items, because I don't really want to waste items experimenting.、Uh, but some of the best items you get that way. Okay, so you can actually pause the game、um, and still move the mouse, which is good if, like I was, I was too far away from my monarch and you don't want time in this phase to pass.、Um, you can pause、um, while you're issuing commands, which is useful if a lot is happening at once on the map. So I'm moving Agnes.、Um, being one of my units with high intelligence, I need to. Sort of move her around so that she can find different recruits and different items、uh, in different places. Now that there's more units I can conscript, I think that's the right word,、um, I can refill these units.、Uh, this is something I don't like about this game. Changing、um, unit types is very non intuitive. See, there I just changed it, and if you don't press the right, I think you have to press C twice. Uh, it just goes back to the configuration it was before, which is kind of annoying. But okay, so now instead of、uh, monks, I've got horsemen for Sanith. So now she has mages and horsemen. And、uh, I've set it to the maximum of each and refilled them. And then for Platt, I need to improve,、um, increase his maximum horsemen to 20 and I refilled them as well. So now that、um, we've decided to go to the neighboring kingdom to repair Kathmandu, you'll notice that conveniently that castle is、um, devoid of level 20 super powerful units. So that's the game's not very subtle way of saying, okay, now you can leave. <laughs> so, but you'll also notice that it'll promptly get occupied by another unit from Tristan. So here we have Holbeck and Karen. Which we'll have to fight in order to get to their capital.